Om Shanti and welcome. I'm back from Kalingpong and the busy schedule which just suddenly came up and uh, had caught some wild fever also. But I'm much better. Throat is much more clearer. But still, we're going to do just a recording of two days that is, 7th of July and 8th of July. 9th and 10th we'll be doing tomorrow, and most probably 11th also we'll be listening to it tomorrow itself. Let's hope that God guides us and guides this physical body too. So let's go ahead with this 7th of July's Godly Blessing where Supreme God Father says that may we be loved by the Father and by the family by being trustworthy through our courage to follow the truth. And let's see the details now. God says, may you be loved by the Father and the family by being trustworthy through your courage for the truth. The boat of truth, sorry, the boat of trust is truth. And if there is no truth, then there is a hole in it. When you are honest in your heart and head, you automatically have the father's and the family's love. That means inside out. Complete cleanliness. Complete honesty. You have the father's and the family's love from their hearts and trust. Because of this trust, you receive all rights from them. You are then automatically loved by all. You are then automatically loved by all. So it is a very popular saying. If you can be truthful to God, then you are truthful to yourself. And the rest follows. That means... The rest of the family, the world, finds you truthful too. And you'll receive everything which you have ever desired. This is not what we're talking about financially or materialistically. But everything which you have ever desired from God first. And then, then from the family too. You are then automatically loved by all. So be trustworthy with the courage of truth. Do not try to prove the truth. Now, if you have done something with your clean mind and heart, you don't need to prove it. Time will prove it. But become an embodiment of success and you will continue to move forward at a fast speed because every soul will bow down in front of the truth. No matter what they think, they say, but they have to bow down in front of the truth. The point is whether we are true with the Creator or not. That's the first alignment. If that alignment is true, then the rest will follow. The family, the world, the five elements, everything will follow you. Everything will guide you towards the truth itself. And your life will become completely blessed with love from the family also. This family, the world family, every family will be loving you. How do you do that? How do you be so truthful? Because in a world like this, people suddenly say, it's difficult to be truthful. If you are too truthful, then people take it for granted. But then there's still a way. It's not about being truthful and not having the powers. So we have to combine both of them. You can learn that at Brahma Kumaris with the semantic course. With this, Om Shanti.